Here's how the government dupes you. You listening now? In 2022, even the government, even the corrupt government, admit that 1050 is not the living wage. That has been established so that they're saying we must implement the living wage. So now the Irish government, who claim that Ireland is one of the wealthiest countries in the world, are admitting that minimum wage is not enough money to live off. Now listen, if 1050 is not enough money to live off, the average, or at least last year, the inflation rate was 8.2%. If that inflation rate remains the same, bear in mind, fuel costs have doubled, people are reporting. If that inflation rate continues, that would be 32.8% inflation. What are they planning to raise the minimum wage by? Only to 11.30 next year, and then they're saying over a four year period, we will increase that to 13.10. I know that there are some part-timers working in Tesco and Gori that are getting 1250. If they can now get 1250 from Tesco, even though Tesco are having to reduce their hours to 25 hours a week, how can people still be expected to survive on 1050 an hour? Listen now, are you listening? 32.8% inflation over four years they're only planning on raising the minimum wage by less than three euros that's less than 30 percent of 10. so they're planning on increasing it over four years which would see you having the equivalent of less than 1050 given the rate of inflation in four years time the relative amount of money you would be earning would be less than the current rate of payment on minimum wage relative to the cost of living and that's only if inflation stays the same if it increases you'll see even less value for minimum wage in four years time so even though the Irish government have acknowledged that 1050 is below the living wage they're planning on implementing it to a degree in four years' time where it would be even less than 1050 given the cost of living today. So 1310 in four years is, has less value than 1050 today. That's their solution. Even though they acknowledge that 1050 isn't enough money to live off today. So they've given you the appearance as though they have a plan to improve the situation when actually it will make it worse and it's too little too late because already people are in food poverty in it, unable to buy heating oil they just are completely inept they know that the mathematics don't work out they know that yet they still try to make us look like monkeys by admitting that currently the Irish person on minimum wage doesn't have a living wage but they claim that an increase of 13 to, to sorry 21310 in 4 years time incrementally increasing it annually would see us in a better position not not at an inflation rate of 8.2 um, of an increase every year that's 30% increase in the living wage for 32% increase in inflation and that's only if the inflation rate remains the same as it did last year. If it increases, you'll have maybe the equivalent of nine euros or less, who knows, of value today. So the equivalent value of 13.10 in four years' time is less than 10.50 today relative to today's cost of living and relative to the percentage of it that 1050 currently is. So, guys, their solution places us in a worse situation in four years' time. If they today have acknowledged that 1050, and they have, they said it's not the living wage, is not the living wage, they should increase it today. Not in four years' time. It should be immediately increased.
So anything short of immediately increasing it to the living wage today is not a solution. Especially when 13.10 will be less than 10.50 is today, in four years' time. Today, 13.50 would be a less than 13% increase in the rate of pay. In four years' time, it's less money than 10.50 is today, if the inflation rate remains the same. They are criminals. If the government have acknowledged that the living wage is not 10.50, they've acknowledged that they're failing to do their job. And they have done that, but their solution is not a solution. It makes the situation worse. It's insulting your intelligence, is what it is. 11.30 is what they plan to increase the wage to next year. If there's a further increase of 8.2%, 11.30 is just a slap in the face with a wet fish because it doesn't actually improve the situation at all. It makes it worse because 11.10 next year will be less than 11.50 is this year due to inflation. They're mocking us now. They're mocking us. But you haven't got the living wage. Let's put you in a worse position next year. Relative to what you're in this year. Given how 10.50 is not the living wage this year, 11.30 will be even less so next year because of inflation. But it's a solution. And in four years' time, that solution will be even worse because you'll have accumulated four years' worth of inflation. So that 13.10 has a lesser value than 10.50 does today relative to the cost of living. Okay? That's a solution for the Irish government. Thank you for watching. They don't solve problems. They create them. By giving you the impression that they've solved them. Because they've got a plan of action. But if the plan of action is insufficient, like I've said it to you as before, guys, if they nearly help you, they help you not at all. Well, it's better than it stay in 1050 in four years. No, it's not. It's not better because you still won't be able to live off it. You still won't be able to live off it. It still won't be the living wage. It won't be gainful employment unless you can pay all your bills, have a roof over your head and do all of that on the money you're earning at working 40 hours a week. You're not getting gainful employment and the Irish government are not upholding the Irish constitution and your right to gainful employment. It's a right. If it's an expectation, it's also a right. You're expected to work. If you're not willing to work, they, won't, they say they won't give you money. So if it's an expectation, it's a right. So if they expect us to work, we expect to get gainful employment. Otherwise, they have no right to expect you to work. Because what they're expecting you to do doesn't actually accommodate you in any way because if you can't put a roof over your head what's the point of working if you can't feed yourself what's the point of working if you can't clothe yourself what's the point of working and if you can't feed yourself seven days of the week you can't feed yourself 
And if you can't live in a house and pay the rent and eat and clothe yourself and do all that you need to do and have a little bit left over, you can't live off what you're getting paid. Period. So if they don't come up with a wage that facilitates all of the aforementioned, they can't expect you to work. What is a 5% increase on a social welfare payment when there's an 8.2% increase in the cost of living annually? It's, it falls short. It doesn't even see you getting the same amount of money, relatively speaking, as you got the year before with a 5% increase when the inflation rate increases by 8.2% because there's a bigger increase of an, uh, in terms of inflation than there is in terms of the amount of money that the social welfare has been increased by. And 10 euros of 200 is 5%. If it's 208 euros, it's even less than 5%, which is even more of a slap in the face with, with a wet fish. It doesn't cut it. It's insufficient. It's not a solution. It's actually causing a problem while pretending to be a solution. That's the Irish government, because they're witches and wizards.